Corey Swergos here for Slap News pre Power Slap number one with Dwayne Crespo pre fight interview. How you doing, my man? I'm doing good, man. We excited, man. It's almost time yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, so the night before. Any nerves? Absolutely not. No, I feel good. This it's always calm week during fight week. Have fun, you know. Do your thing. Do what you're supposed to. Do your meds, and then once you weigh in and face off, it's just like one more sleep, one more sleep, and get paid. You know. Yeah. I mean, coming from the East Coast to the West Side here, do you find there's any adjustment in the time zone? Oh, absolutely. That first day, that first day, I'm like tired at five o'clock here. And I just make sure that I stay up to like midnight and be fine for the rest of the week, you know. Yeah. I mean, going up against the bell, your coach who was on the show, you probably didn't get to see him slap. Um, or, I mean, you've seen some training techniques, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but have you gone back and watched any of the tapes of his previous fights in other organizations? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've definitely seen him uh, slap in a slap fight. I've seen his, uh, he has like three fights. Um, He's a very, very powerful guy. There's a lot of hype around him, so I, I love this kind of fight. So like you kind of like build your your career, your name off a single fight, which is always really cool, you know. Yeah, I believe right now you are actually the uh, the betting favorite on the Vegas line. How does that make you feel, dude? This is so cool. I'm I'm always the underdog. Like usually, like betting odds, man. Like especially in MMA world. Like since I can't wrestle, it's like he's gonna lose. Like probably, like. Um, but it's it's kind of cool to like Vegas be like, hey, he's gonna win. Like he won the coin toss. There's he does good things when he wins the coin toss. So like yeah, it's a good it's a good time. Yeah. Um, you know, from from now until the fight, what are you gonna be doing to keep your mind occupied? Uh, honestly, like I'm good. Like I used to have trouble in the past with like kind of like depression before fights, and I just I just started getting a good mindset in these things, and I have never been better. So, like, right now, like, I have no anxiety. I know that I'm going to do amazing. Uh, it's going to be a really good time. And, yeah, no stress. I think I'm just going to go sleep like a baby later and just wake up, eat some food, and then get my hand raised, you know? You know, um, last time you were here was in December. Vegas becoming a second home to you now, almost. Maybe you should look at, uh, you know, getting something a little more, more permanent so that you can just leave your stuff here. <laughs> but uh, have you changed anything in either your striking, your approach, your defense that uh, you're going to implement tomorrow from when you were here last time in December? Absolutely. Like, the more the more you – like, this is such a new sport. Like, uh, definitely, like, in MMA and kickboxing, everybody has been doing it for years, so you have different coaches with different ideals. This is a whole new sport where no one has an ideal yet. Everyone has to figure it out for their own. So, like, I had a, my fight with Ryan, and then I started to figure out stuff in that fight that, like, hey, I could have done this. I, I, I should do this for the next one. Hey, he did something cool that I didn't do. Maybe I should do that as well. And then you start to develop a style more. So like it was more more and more as the sport grows, like you start to see like styles and different teachings and schools. Like people think that there it'd be funny to have like martial arts schools for slapping, but it, give it time. Like I, I coach, I, I teach people and give it time, you're gonna see in a complete different style from each person. So I uh I kind of started a new trend for you, and I called it the Dwayne Crespo rule. Yeah. And apparently, one of your family members called and asked what that was about. <laughs> you can blame me for that one. <laughs> but why do you explain to people what the what the what the Dwayne Crespo rule is, and is it going to be in effect tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was, that was so it was such a weird phone call to get. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, hey, that kid Corey, he was saying something about this. <laughs> So, uh, so one of the rules, uh, rule changes, like as the sport grows, they're gonna have a definite rule, and they're really worried about the safety of of the fighters. I understand that, and like I said, when fights go on and on, you got you start to see people's styles and their approach to things. Mm-hmm. So, um, one of the rule changes was can't do a fast wind up and stop before hitting them because it looks like they're gonna hit, you're gonna hit them, and it could cause flinching, could cause fouls, and. Uh, that is strictly based on me because I'm the only person that does a fast windup. So, like, I know that they saw me and they're like, hey, this could be a problem. I'm like, that's kind of the reason why I do it. People get scared, you know. Like, <laughs> uh, But I understand it. Uh, I, I talked to them. Uh, I got to talk to them again tomorrow to see if it's re- if I really can or cannot do it. Mm-hmm. And if, if so, it, it's not going to change much. But, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it was definitely something that caught me off guard. They're like, yeah, you can't do what he does. Like, oh. <laughs> 
I was like, but can I do what I do? Like, am I allowed to still strike fast? Like, I don't know. Man. Yeah. I mean, you, I knew, obviously, you were at the Apex today, seeing the setup, the lights, seemed like everything is just amplified again, going from, you know, a pre taped show now to having a live audience, you know, around the world on Rumble. Is there any additional pressure of the live show versus the pre-taping? I would say there is pressure. I just don't want to, I don't like to think about it much, you know. It's like uh, I, I used to get affected by the cameras around. And I started realizing that they don't matter. I have, I have a job to do. Uh, you're so used to competing. Why not just go compete? And then people are watching, people are watching. Uh, but they keep changing things in the Apex. It's starting to look, it looks so awesome, man. I, I saw it on the stage uh, today. They had it rise, and you walk on it. It's it's pretty pretty dope. It get, it's a better feeling every single time I get there, you know. Yeah. Have you been visualizing in your head how, to mor- how tomorrow night is going to unfold? Absolutely. I love I love manifesting. That's one of the best things to do, like especially in the fight world, because it's big buildup. It's the only sport with buildup. Mm-hmm. Basketball, you show up, you play. Baseball, you show up to practice, you play. Uh, I have to wait a couple months knowing I'm fighting a very specific person and then we meet the day before, you know, this big buildup. So uh, I definitely think of it pretty much manifesting my head like, hey, in a perfect world, I'm going to win the coin toss. I'm going to go first. I'm going to knock him down. He don't get back up. I get my hand raised, you know. I say that all the time. And first part's done. I won the coin toss, man. Yeah. So second part tomorrow, we'll see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, obviously you went up against Ryan Phillips in the house. Mm-hmm. Big personality. Um, you know, it's kind of said, obviously, you need to have skills and personality to be a true superstar in any type of sport. Um, you know, you were pretty reserved, you know, in, in your first couple matches, kept it very, very respectful. Um, are you thinking anything about, you know, the entertainment side? Are you going to try to show more of your personality when you're up there on that stage? What's funny is, like, I keep getting a lot of messages from fans that are saying that they love what I'm doing and stuff like that. And uh, uh, I'm also on the spectrum, so I get fa- uh, fans saying that is your inspiration. And I could never not be myself. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just part of it. Like, I don't know that I'm saying stuff. Like, I just say the first thing that pops in my head. <laughs> and so, like, the entertainment part of it, I don't think I can ever just be, like, Ah, uh, you know, like that. It has to be natural for me. If it's not natural, it's probably never gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm the gamer. You know, there's there's the entertainers and then there's the gamers. There's the people that just show up and they they win. And they're just like, man, if he could be rowdy, he'd be yeah. the best on the planet. I was like, I'm I'm the best on the planet, but I'm shy. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. Uh, it's like Curtis Blades. Curtis Blades in MMA, man. He's he's beating people and there, it's just there's no shit talking. It's just like I show up, I win. I come back home and eat, you know. Mm-hmm. Same with me. Yeah. Do you think this is the biggest moment in your life, period? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this, every fight keeps getting bigger and bigger for me. It's it's, it's crazy. Like, that first one with, uh, with Stretch, um, it was it was just an opportunity that you didn't know you had. Mm-hmm. It was like with Dana White's here. You, you really didn't know what to expect. So, s- super nervous, like, please do well, please do well. And you do well, you're like, yes. And then you get invited to the house, you're like, this is huge. Please do well. Then you do well. You're like, yes. And then now they're like, hey, uh, you're going against a coach. So you have one of the hardest fights on the card, arguably the hardest fight on the card. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you win, you get a title shot. So big fight. Mm-hmm. And then if I win, title shot, bigger fight. So it keeps getting bigger and bigger for me. And it's like, yeah. you got to calm down, man. And just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm here to win, but like, I need to breathe a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you, you, you become victorious tomorrow. What's the first thing you're gonna do afterwards? Dude, I don't know if I cry. <laughs> like, it, like I said, this is it's such a big moment. A lot of people have jobs back home, yeah. and I, I fight full time. Yeah. So like, you don't make money in the the fight world until you make it. And this is finally like a platform where I can start making some money for my family, bills, everything like that. And uh, so winning, winning a bonus, doing that, all that stuff in this big platform, knowing that there's a title shot, and that means more pay and everything like that. Like it, you could get pretty emotional. So I, I expect something tomorrow, you know? Yeah. So on the interview of well, the 21 questions with Dwayne Crespo, you stated that uh, you like to go for a nice expensive meal after a, after a fight. Are you going to do it here in Vegas or are you going to wait till you get back home to your girlfriend? 
absolutely gonna wait till I get back to my girlfriend, and she's gonna watch this, so I have to say that too. But um, <laughs> but yeah, no, absolutely. Like, uh, go spend some time with her. I'm wait for her for a week, you know. So mm-hmm. we'll have a big date night, and then do something big, and then use the rest for whatever we needed to do. Awesome, my man. So you said that you are in line for a title shot if you do come out tomorrow victorious. I'm not sure if that's breaking news or public news quite yet, but I appreciate you giving me the the inside track on that. So incredible. Obviously, you'll know um, future shows are to come here. There's been uh, you know some speculation going around that potentially June is, is the next show, so it'll give you approximately three months to be able to get ready for that. Um, you know, I'm excited for you. Really appreciate you doing this, joining me here in your hotel room. You know, as always, man, absolute pleasure. I wish you all the very best. I'm Corey Swargas here for Slap News. This is Dwayne, the man, Iron Giant Man, Woo! who will have a Putin name after him pretty soon if he comes to Canada. Crespo. Crespo. <laughs>